think about an event like this? Oh, <laughs> start right away. Okay. Uh, I, well, I just like the fact that we get to come out and see a bunch of people that we don't usually get to have uh, intimate conversations with folks and, uh, you know, be able to shake their hand and say thank you for being being tonight, thank you for supporting tonight, thank you for supporting our student athletes. And it just gives uh, our... Uh, our fan base and alumni uh, a chance to interact with our coaches. They're, they're, they're the real show. And uh, uh, just ask some Q&A questions and uh, just, you know, it's just nice to be uh, really close to people and, and, and having that interaction. You were out at the Plex all weekend yeah. cheering on softball. What do you think of that accomplishment of them? Uh, on to the Super Regional. No, it's fantastic. I mean, uh, Fair uh, has done an unbelievable job with this program. Evaluation recruiting. Well, a lot of people don't realize she got a whole new staff this year, and uh, just you know we put, we put a lot of uh, resources in, a lot of a lot of facility upgrades and some resources into softball. Uh, when I first got here, I could see that it was uh, sorely missing, uh, so to speak. But I really believe after watching them last spring that uh, they deserve it. We're going to be a program for the future to really watch. And, not only could we compete, compete for conference championships, but also compete for national championships is what we're doing. And so uh, we're going to continue to, uh, you know, to uh, spend money on teams that are very successful and uh, they're, they're absolutely one of those teams. Folks out there at the Plex all weekend, and you no doubt have heard from fans throughout the season, they want to see those upgrades and improvements continue. What was your experience out there? I know it's not the first game you've been to, but what do you think are some of the immediate well, needs out there? Well, well, we've done a lot of upgrades and improvements to the areas. We redid their entire locker room. We did redid their operations center. We did redid their dugouts. All the outfield area uh, was completely new. Uh, as far as the, the walls and the pads, I don't know if you remember what it used to look like. Um, so we spent a lot of we spent a lot of money out there last uh, last year before the season. Uh, we're going to continue to look at that. I mean, one of the things would be nice shade. You know, have a shade. Uh, it's a little a little strange the way the, uh, the softball uh, stadium was, was built because even if you have shade, you may have you still may have sunlight in your face based on where it sits. And, time of day that you play. Uh, but we're going to continue to, uh, to upgrade things and, and, and you know, uh, the most important thing to me uh, right now before we do anything is making sure a Bears are a coach. Yeah, fans are asking <laughs> that as well. That's sure. got to be a priority for you. Yeah, you know she's going to be sought after. Part, it was a priority for us last year. That's why we did some things for the contract last year right after the season. We, uh, we did some stuff and uh, we're going to definitely look at it again this year. And, uh, President is definitely in line with me on that. And I've already talked to her, so let her finish out the year, and then we'll, we'll, we'll focus on that. This year for women's athletics, from volleyball to now, I mean, it has been just a record-setting year for these programs. It really has, and uh, you know, our, our, we have first of all we have a bunch of very talented coaches uh, in the women's athletics, uh, women's sports, and uh, we're trying to keep them as much as we possibly can. And, uh, you know, I think they believe in the commitment of uh, what we're trying to do. And, you know, as, as we transition in the Big 12, it's not, it, it is a transition. We're not going to be able to do everything all at once. And, you know, whenever you look at softball or, or other sports and you say, hey, hey we need upgrades, we, they, we as, as, as many upgrades as we need in football and men's basketball, women's basketball, all those as well. So we just have to figure out, uh, you know, we have to prioritize that based on the greatest need, and that's what we did last year with softball. I felt like one of the first things they made, the two greatest needs that we had when I first got here was football and softball. And we actually started on softball immediately, and then uh, football, we just had things. You, you've seen the, their offices and how we upgraded that. That was something that we, we really needed to get done very quickly for recruiting. What's the status of the projects? You unveiled those to much fanfare, the drawings and all of that. You know how fans are. They're yeah. anxious. They want to see dirt digging and things moving. Sure. Well, those are conceptual designs. And, and so, you know, we're going to uh, take, uh, we're going to go to the facility committee of the board of trustees and ask for a permission to go to uh, design, uh, to, we mean, to advertise, to hire an architect and a construction manager. And then that's, the, that's really going to begin the process. We're still trying to raise money. Uh, you know, you saw some of the uh, you saw some of the costs out there uh, in, 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 uh, in the media that they put out there. I, I can just tell you this: that about 50 percent 
of the conceptual design to make change. Uh, not McAmerico, but maybe where the office locations are, the, the seating bowl, uh, you know, we want to make it more dense in the seating bowl because we don't want to take away from the great atmosphere in the south end zone, upper level. So we're going to reevaluate all that stuff. Remember, we did those conceptual designs before I ever saw one game here. Why? So after seeing one game, the first time, I said, oh, we're going to have to look at it. It's never really talked about it publicly, but uh, um, so yeah, so we're going to, once we start that process, it, you know, the governance process in the state of Florida is, uh, it takes a long time. Uh, there's, they've been instituted for a reason, and there's certain bylaws and Florida governor's uh, uh, approvals they have to go through. So I just, everybody needs to be patient, but in the meantime, we got to raise money. We don't have the money to complete the project, all the money to complete the project. But we're going getting, to we're getting, we're have some good news, hopefully, in the next couple of weeks uh, with some, uh, some anchor funding. So uh, stay tuned. May is almost off the calendar. Folks thought by now there'd be an announcement about, uh, you know, departure to the Big 12. Where are we at in that process? We're still working through it. Uh, we're still in negotiations with uh, the conference office and the presidents and the three institutions. And so, and, and, uh, you know, I'm as candid as, as it can be. That's just where we are. We're still negotiating. 100 days out from the start of the football yeah, season, cool. you announce season tickets are yeah. dwindling. Yeah. What's your message to fans? Well, I think it's, uh, you know, I think now's the time to get in because we're going to have a great year. I believe we'll have a really good year. Coach is very excited. Yeah. And get your tickets now because uh, you're going to want your seats for the first year of the Big 12.